Hello, my name is Edgar Mengenberg and I'm a software support engineer for Maximo and Toriga support services at IBM. After this, wa watching this video, you will understand how to create and use an RFQ, which is a request for quotation. So in order to create an RFQ, you will need to have a um, PR or purchase requisition uh, done. So I won't create it now, I've created one before with various PR lines. So now to create a RFQ, we'll have to go to the Go button. Purchasing and go to Request for Quotations. Okay, so we will create a new one. So so we call it my RFQ just the purpose of demonstrating you can leave priority to zero but you can change that and it's a mandatory field we can put a buyer in but we leave all this uh, blank for now um, we will need a ship to and a reply to one so I'm using this one which is the default one and we'll save that. So now, as I said, you need to have a PR done. Um, so I've created PR 1004 before. And from that, it's PR line items will need to be copied over to the RFQ. So you can see here there is quite a few. So um, what we can do, we can click all those, not just for um, the 1004 one, but also for any of the other ones. But for the purpose of this, I'm going to just use a couple and use them of the created and approved PR. So the PR needs to be approved. We copy that all over to the RFQ. Okay, so as you can, so you can see those here. And what we need now, we need to add various vendors that will tender for this um, for this RFQ for this request for quotation. So we've got one here already. Um, we can add a couple of new ones if we want. Um, maybe just one should do for now. So put that one in, okay, save the records. So we've got various RF PR lines now copied over to the RFQ. We've got a couple of vendors that are um, looking to get that, this one. So what we need to do now at this stage is to um, change the quotation status. So we go to change status button. The moment you see it's in progress, so now we'll need to send it to the vendor. So change the status to send to vendor. Okay, that to save that. You can see here status has changed to send. So what we need to do now is um, add those RFQ or some RFQ lines that we want for that particular vendor to be done. So we go to the um, quotations tab. There we go. We'll select some of the RFQ lines. We can see here. Okay, we've got the vendors here. Right, so we choose a particular vendor. 
Now we're going to select some of the RFQ lines for that particular vendor. Okay, so let's try and do two that we'd like to award to that vendor. So you would uh, award those pref that preferred RFQ uh, vendor now. So you've got all this now. You've got the vendor, you've got the lines, you've saved it. Um, and it's all sent to that particular vendor, saving it. Okay, so that's how to create an RFQ. And what you now need to do, um, but in the interest of time, I won't show that. You'll create a, a PO, purchase order for that RFQ. And then um, you... Um, add that RFQ to it. Uh, basically, uh, when the PO is um, done, you create the PO, then the RFQ is uh, automatically closed upon the PO creation. And then you'll check the PO number, um, you check the RFQ line is, is on there, you approve the PO, and then you, know, you can create an invoice or anything like that and do your final checks. So, um, and in the interest of time, as I said, I wanted to show you today how to create the RFQ and how that's linked initially to the PR going into an RFQ, award the relevant, relevant vendor for that RFQ, then you create the relevant PO and that automatically closes out um, the RFQ at the end. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this um, video today. If you do, uh, I appreciate if you click the like button on this YouTube video and that'd be great. And thank you for watching this video today.